What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're doing something a little bit different. Today is Tuesday's tea time. So I'm drinking uh, Tivana's Jade Citrus Mint, which is in my Conklin Duragraph video. Um, oh boy, months back now um, that I talked about this one. Really great. Uh, it's a green tea, kind of like a minty, slightly citrusy, um, slightly very minimally like honey-ish almost together. Um, I really enjoy it. It's one of the teas I like to drink when I don't want like milk and sugar and all that kind of stuff. It's just straight up green tea. Um, I put the water to about 195 degrees Celsius. I uh, let it steep for three minutes and then I enjoy. And you may be asking yourself, what the heck is Tuesday's tea time? Well, I decided to take a little bit of break from the main videos that I make, which come out every Monday and Friday, um, mainly just so that I can start filming a whole bunch. <laughs> um, those are definitely, definitely, definitely coming back. Um, the response, you guys, thank you so much. Um, the response to the videos that I put out has been overwhelmingly incredible. Um, so just thank you, you know, from the bottom of my heart for being so awesome with all of those, um, for commenting, for liking, if you've subscribed already, thank you for subscribing, um, you know, and coming back sometimes twice a week, um, to see what I have to say about a pen or paper, all that kind of jazz. So thank you very much. Um, and those will be coming back September 2nd, um, August, I decided to do something a little different. So every Tuesday, I thought, Tuesday's tea time, where literally I just sit down, have a chat with you guys about anything. Um, could be about something personal that's going on in my life, could be something in the news that's happened. Um, if you guys have any questions, just pile them down below. Um, I may or may not answer them in the comment section below here because I'm actually going to try and store those or save them until... Um, next Tuesday and I can answer them in Tuesday's tea time. Um, ideally, I would like it to become more of like a question and answer with like a little bit of like, you know, personal, hey, what's up? Or, um, you know, what's in the news kind of thing. But really, this is kind of an open format video. So you may or may not notice I am not in my current setting. Um, I'm not in my room. I'm actually in my living room. I don't know if I'm going to stay here. The I don't know if I quite enjoy the layout. I do enjoy the fact that I can sit cross-legged, whereas I can't really at my desk. Um, but uh, I just thought I'd try something different. You know, Tuesday's tea time is not my normal uh, at the desk. Even though I do have a pen and paper with me, um, I actually have my Leuchtturm 1917, which I actually just ordered um, the new one that came out where it's like their summer edition. It's all teal, has like a, a gold like animal of some sort on it. Um, it's gold embossing all around the side here, but essentially it's the same notebook. Um, I just ordered it, so hopefully, you know, when I get it, I can either do a quick review of it, um, or if it's like pretty much identical to this one, I may just throw some pictures up on my Instagram, which is just pens and tea. Um, the pen that I'm using for today um, and actually I've been using it for a few days now and it still has loads of ink. This is the Franklin Kristoff Model 66 uh, with the antique glass finish. And it is eyedropper converted and filled with Lamy Turquoise, which is probably my favorite turquoise that I've used. I've used a lot of different turquoises. I've used Visconti's, I've used Noodler's, um, I've used like a Gerbin, uh, I've used a Diamine. Um, but Lamy's I really like. It's the perfect balance uh, as far as like lubrication is concerned. Um, and I really like that if you get a wet writing pen and you not necessarily dump it on, but you use good paper, you're gonna get a gorgeous red sheen. It is beautiful. And this ink lends itself to just like unparalleled shading. So I really, really dig it. Um, 
So even though I do have <laughs> pen and paper with me, um, you know, it's not necessarily what I'm going to be talking about every single time. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is the first video that I've put out as far as Tuesday's Tea Time where basically this one is just a random stream of consciousness video. So for those of you that come back, you know, once a week, twice a week, uh, multiple times, depending on what you want to watch, what kind of things would you like this to turn into? Like I said, it's kind of an open format, so I can play around with it. I really <clears throat> can do whatever I want with this one. Um, you know, this one's completely unscripted. Like I said, it's just kind of off the cuff, whatever comes to mind. Um, as far as like question and answers, I would prepare a little bit of an answer for those, but yeah, let me know, you know, what you want this to turn into, whether you think it's a good idea, whether you would never watch it, who the frick knows. Um, like I said, this is going to be in August. So every Tuesday in August is when this uh, Tuesday's Tea Time is going to air. Um, depending on the feedback I get from you guys, depending on how I feel about it, um, will depend on whether or not this carries forward into, um, you know, September, October, November, like just into the future. Um, or whether or not August is kind of as far as it goes. Um, and sometimes it's a lot easier to show you something or to talk about something rather than just, uh, you know, type it in the comments. So that's another reason why this is kind of cool. Um, so yes, as of now, this will end at the end of August, unless, you know, you guys feel like this is something worth continuing um, or whether maybe it should go every other week like I said, right now, it's pretty up in the air. Um, basically, I want an excuse to sit down, have a chat with you guys, and drink some tea. <sighs> There's a guy outside right now. He's just walking by and he's kind of looking at me. He has no idea what I'm doing. He just can obviously see that I'm filming myself drinking tea, apparently. He probably thinks I'm very weird. I wonder if he's playing Pokemon Go. There's no Pokemon here, buddy. I looked. There's no Pokemon. Oh, man. So for this episode of Tuesday's Tea Time, like I said, it's kind of random. Um, but I do want to kind of leave you with a question, one that I've been kind of thinking about the last little bit. Um... Other than, of course, whether or not you think that this is a good idea, um, is what do you think of the sparkly inks? Um, Jairban just came out with a new one uh, about a week ago. The Karub de Chaipra? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't think really most people do. Um, but it's the brown one with the gold sparkles. Um, I do have a bottle of it. I'm really liking it so far. I'm also a sucker for like really warm tone browns, um, which if you had asked me when I first started, I would have said never because I hated brown. I thought it was like poop. <laughs> but now it's definitely where I tend to lean towards. Um, but I really like that one. The My next favorite after that is probably a tie between Emerald of Shavor and the Diamond Purple Pizzazz. I think those ones are like spot on. I really do like the, you know, Stormy Grey and Blue Ocean. I'm not a huge fan of Rouge Hematite. Um, I find that that one's really dry, or at least my bottle is. It clogs up in almost every pen I've put it in. Um, whereas I haven't had any of that issue with any of the other Gerba. Definitely not Diamine. Diamine is far more lubricated than the others. I'm not a huge fan of the Hematite, but I'm also not a huge fan of Red Inks in general. So I'm kind of like biased towards not liking that one. Um, but let me know what you think. I find that some people are just going banana cakes over the sparkly ink. Some people are the exact opposite. They kind of hate it. Um, basically, it's just, it's, it's very polarizing. And I want to know what you think. Do you like the sparkles? Do you not like the sparkles? You know, did you wish they were just kind of like a phase that, is, you know, was over by now? Do you hope it sticks around for a while? Um, personally, I think the way that Jair Bond's handling it is great. You know, we get a new one every so often, maybe once a year, every other year. But basically, not every ink, you know, has to be sparkly. Um, I like the vast majority of my ink to be sparkle-free. But every once in a while, I like some sparkles. So guys, thanks for hanging out with me. 
You just saw my toe. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me on this week's Tuesday's Tea Time. Um, like I said, the other ones will be a little bit more formatted. This one's just kind of like a, a random thing. Um, if you have any questions for me for next week, you can leave them in the comment section below. You can direct message me. You can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. Um, I'm gonna try and use the Twitter more often for pens and tea. I typically have not, um, but I'm gonna try. Just use the hashtag Tuesdays Tea Time, um, and then I'll be able to see everything below that. Um, and then hopefully this will become, you know, something cool for you guys to just kind of sit back, grab your own tea. You know, you can tell me what teas you're drinking, what you're liking. Give me suggestions because Lord knows I need some more tea. <laughs> um, so guys, I'll see you next week. Cheers.